important transmission from the Galactic Federation. Dear ones, we have come back to remind you that you are love, light, and free to be who you truly are, a child of light. This is the divine love frequency. It is a frequency through which you can connect with us in the fifth dimension. And when you are on this frequency, you feel the sense of being loved, belonging, and unconditionally accepted. This is how you can love someone without expecting something in return and still feel empowered because you gave from your heart. Divine love means feeling pure happiness. You let everything go. Everything that was negative disappeared. You feel full of your own love, your purity, your power, and your feelings of joy. Allow these feelings to thrive within you, regardless of the outside events. The universe is an ocean of love. Love is the most powerful source of energy in the universe. We're dedicated to helping you tap into this energy so you can elevate your love to its fullest and highest self. You have the ability to experience love on a much deeper level and take the next step in your awakening process. So take the steps needed to make this energy a regular part of your life. Love is like breathing. Neither can be forced. Both are important in life. First, love yourself, love those around you, and be the best that you can be. Let others love you. Put your hands on your heart and speak to yourself. Say things like, I love you. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are whole and you are perfect to yourself. It is the best gift for you to transform into your higher self and awaken your inner world of limitless potential. It is the only strategy that works. If you have trouble loving yourself, you will unconsciously sabotage your encounters with others because deep down you hold the false belief that you are not worthy of being loved by others. Every person deserves to love themselves and to receive love from others. If you don't believe that you are worthy of love, then no one else will either. Love yourself and you'll be able to share your love with others. This is what makes life worth living. Take a look in the mirror and realize the person you see is your best friend and closest ally. The one who was there from the start and will be until the last scene, your companion through all your ups and downs. The reflection in the mirror finally deserves to be acknowledged and loved. But self-love does not mean egotistical pride. The key to self-love is to see the heart's desires. Listen to that call. Leave comfortability and fear behind. Take a leap of faith, go the extra mile, and surrender yourself. That what you think yourself is aka your ego to the higher guidance and wisdom of your heart. The ego must surrender in order for love to occur. You cannot hold both of these frequencies in your body. They are incompatible. Love is God creator power. One holds light, the other darkness, but darkness fades away on its own as light arrives. Loving yourself means to accepting, respecting, and forgiving yourself. It means that you will pursue that which frees your spirit and brings joy to your being. It is the sacred journey you are currently on. And one day, love pervades your whole being. Then there comes music, a frequency alignment, and harmony with the universe. You tune in to divine love and you immediately shift from a 3D to a 5D reality. Love attracts love. You hadn't anticipated it. It just occurred by itself. It's a byproduct of love. But you must first begin with yourself. You must love yourself. How do you go about doing it? Nobody can teach it to you. There is no need to go anywhere in order to learn it. All you have to do now is go inside. The first thing you should do is shift your focus from your brain to your heart, from thinking to feeling. When you are feeling deeply, your whole energy flows towards your heart. You will attain inner peace if you understand how to go from thinking to feeling. However, for many individuals, thinking becomes an uncontrollable activity. Their minds are not under their control. Their minds are so full of thoughts. They consume all their energy by producing thoughts. Once you learn to go from thinking to feeling, 
You move into another realm. Your entire life changes. You will be filled with fresh energy. Try simple activities. When you get up in the morning, immediately don't think about your project and your client's concerns. Try to feel. Feel your body. The wind is coming in and touching you. Just feel that chill. A bird is singing. Use your senses and experience them. Walk with bare feet to the garden. Feel the grass underneath your toes. Look at the flowers. Feel the fragrance radiating from them. But don't instantly say, it is beautiful. Then the mind enters. Don't put your thoughts into this wonderful experience. It will pull you towards a third dimensional frequency. Don't think about it. Just feel it. Enjoy it, allow it, and flow with it. When taking a bath, feel the water drops touching on you. While having your food, shut down all other distractions and experience fully the flavor of the food. For many people, it will be tough in the beginning. It is because of their minds, which have been indoctrinated into logical thinking only. For this exercise, they may select one action at the beginning. For example, taking a bath may be done with complete awareness, with entire feelings. Fully focus on the now here moment and the many sensations of simple things we mostly perform robotic following a routine and usually do not pay any attention to. Once you grasp it, this awareness may be transferred to another activity. Slowly, this awareness may be introduced to every action. Then your whole life will be filled with awareness and divine love will permeate your whole being. You will enter into the fifth dimension of living fully in God's light. You will have an abundant, joyful, and blissful life. Whatever you do, wherever you go, you will be in love with life. You will smile all the time, feeling that every day is a gift. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho. This is a message to humanity from Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation.